is this place? It's kinda cute. Like from a fairy tale or something. Don't let your guard down, Kanji-kun. There's no telling when the enemy will attack. Yeah, I know. Uh, everything okay with you two? You're awfully quiet. Are you not feeling well? Aw, now, Chan, you're all lonely because you're not with Sensei, huh? Don't worry, Teddy will stay at your side forever and ever. That's not the case. Yeah, same here. Wait, did you just ignore me, Ted? What the hell did you put that on? Yosuke's not around, Kanji keeps us in check. <gasps> Does that mean Kanji's checking me out right now? Is my innocence in danger? No, I'm not. And enough of that crap. It's getting real old, damn it. <sighs> Come on. How long are you two going to mess around? It just never stops with you. Well, I, I wouldn't call it loneliness, precisely, but it does feel awkward without Senpai. Precarious, if you will. Yeah, no kidding. We said all that earlier, but it's because of them that we're all together in the first place. It just doesn't feel right, not hearing the usual kanji, or calm down. This is a very serious situation indeed. Without Sensei to protect me, I'll be bombarded from all sides with harsh criticism. Dude, just don't stir up any shit. All right, that's enough. Come on, guys, we need to keep our spirits up. Did you forget what we discussed? That we wanted to grow into a team our senpai would be proud of? You senpai's not with us, which makes this a perfect opportunity. Let's work together and impress everyone. Risei-san is right. This is well within our power. Yeah, Naoto-kun, totally. Although, our team could be better coordinated if we had a decision maker. I suggest we come to a consensus on who should assume that role. You mean choose a leader? I'm fine either way. A substitute sensei, huh? Okay, I nominate myself! Go team! Teddy wants you! Yahoo! Well, in a matter of speaking, to be clear, I'm declining the position. I tend to prefer the role of advisor. <laughs> Sounds like Teddy wins by default! Look, hey, hold it! There's no friggin' way that's gonna work! Wanna do it then, Kanji? Huh? Well, if that's what you guys want, I guess I can give it a shot. What? At two, Kanji? My empire was destroyed in a day! What empire? You ain't the leader yet. I don't care who! Just hurry up and decide! Ugh, you're both acting like kids. That's it, Ted. You asked for it. You and me, right now, dance battle. I'm gonna crush you! Challenge accepted! Prepare yourself for the ultimate in break dancing! Hold on, you two. I felt something. You sure are funny. Welcome to the Midnight Stage, featuring Sumomo Ujima. There you are! Wait, Sumomo's up ahead? <laughs> That's what I said. It's almost time for the performance. She will shine forever on the Midnight Stage, as the Sumomo everybody wants. Sumomo is a lucky girl. She gets to join us and share our bond. I already heard about you, but damn, you're one grade-A dumbass! You kidnapped her and you're saying she's lucky? You got a beatdown coming, punk, so get your ass over here! I'm glad to see you're full of energy. But let me remind you of one important thing. Huh? 
the hell are you talking about? Kanji-kun, in this world, no one hurts or gets hurt. I already confirmed that rule for myself. To physically assault someone here would be impossible. <laughs> Stupid rules. Here you can say goodbye to all your pain and suffering, and connect with everyone. <laughs> Sumano will be so happy. Look how many have gathered just for her. Shadow alert! Shadow alert! Hmm? They really are tied together by those weird ribbony thingies. <laughs> You'll understand soon enough. Come on, just connect with us. Feels so good. Oh, I'm getting all wobbly. Be careful. If you're caught in those ribbons, they'll start affecting your mind. Hang in there, everyone. Don't let them get the upper hand. Their so-called bond is a joke. We need to make them realize that. <laughs> I hear ya. Why should I be all buddy-buddy with them when I'm only getting tied down? Hey, Rise, give me my homework song. I'll show them what's up. Huh? You're going to dance? No fair. This is where I'm supposed to step in. Watch and learn, Ted. You're about to see Kanji Tatsumi bring down the house with a man's dance. Well, you're not gonna hold anything back, as if you ever did. It might actually be perfect for the first round. Okay, I'll play your song, so you better give it everything you got. Damn straight. All right then, hit it. Are you ready?
come out this alive or not But we just have to Sensitivity came through even during your fierce moves. How very like you, Kanji-kun. This is awesome. Hmm. Oh, but you were quite impressive yourself, Kanji-kun. Uh -huh. Good job. You kind of freestyled a bit here and there, but it was very you. I have to say, that was an amazing performance. Not bad, Kanji. Y you think so? I mean, of course. <laughs> What'd you expect from me, huh? <laughs> well done. The shadows were going wild to see you dance. This still kind of bothers me, but why does dancing work on the shadows? Kanji-kun, don't tell me you just dance without understanding why. Well, of course I understand. You know, it's all that, uh, stuff, right? Like, like, like Risei said, dancing ain't about thinking too much, but more like, uh, letting yourself out. Yeah? Well, what I'm trying to say is, I did put my feelings into it. You know, like saying, this is who I am. But the fact that the shadows actually got that? I don't know, man. Shit's weird. I mean, how's that possible? You do have a point. No matter how strongly we try to express something, it's useless if our audience is incapable of understanding it. Which may mean, these shadows have emotions just like us, and recognize ours as well. I bet those shadows didn't get it at first. They were just dancing to that creepy song, feeling okay about it because they were doing it in a big crowd. But then they saw Kanji getting down, and they were like, ooh, that guy's got the groove. Forget this, I'm going over there. I see. That may well be so. Case closed. In any case, we got our message across. Doesn't that make you feel good? 
being accepted by someone, people or shadows. It's the best feeling. Okay, let's take a quick break and get going. That boy said Sumomo was up ahead. Yeah, I'm ready to beat the shit out of... Wait, we can't. Uh, dance some sense into those shadows! Hey, you wanna just make her the leader? Yeah, we're totally outclassed. Huh? You guys say something? It's nothing, leader. Please, show us the way. Me, the leader? Oh, well, let's go. They felt kind of different from the ones we fought before. I wonder why. Oh well, no time to worry about stuff like that. I've got some sweet ladies to rescue. Rawr! I'm coming for you right now, my precious idols! You're safe. Woohoohoo! It's the adorable piglet Momo chan, right here in front of me! Yosuke and I haven't missed a single Kanamine Kitchen appearance on TV! But, eh, something's different. It's her manner of speech. She sounds like a different person altogether than when I met her. I guess that is surprising, huh? Sumomo actually grew up deep in the country, so this is how she really is. She doesn't mind bugs at all, and she does a ton of farm work at home. She's a lot tougher than she looks. No way! Cute little Momo-chan, the sweetheart of teenage boys everywhere. It was all an act! Everything I know is a lie! I was thoroughly fooled too. I'm a detective. Huh? So what? No big deal. Mizuchimizu done worked my tail off after all. I'm guessing you were hoping I'd be the sweet little sister type? The what now? You know, like an adorable little kid you just want to look after. Small and cute. But you can only go so far with that. I've been thinking maybe I ought to try doing something else. Even if it's a tiny bit at a time. Don't say that, Sumomo, or else no one will love you anymore. Who do we have here? Sorry, but you're too late. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Simone can't get out of here, so why hurry? Simone, do you want to leave this world? Do you really want to upset your fans? My fans? That's right. Everyone wants the you they know as a helpless, adorable little child. Wouldn't they feel so betrayed if they saw you now? Ah, uh, I ain't betrayed anyone. I've worked dang hard up till now. <laughs> yes, you've really done wrong. But it's still not enough. You need to become the Sumomo that everyone wishes for.
It's those out of character shadows trying to kidnap Momo chan, huh? Well, forget that. We're not handing Samomo over. <laughs> you ain't gonna have it your way as long as we're here. <laughs> you really are energetic. But you know nothing, so I suggest you keep your mouth shut. You have no idea just how much Samomo is suffering. What are you talking about? You don't need to know. Connect with us, and everything will work out. No one will get hurt. No one will have to suffer. Now, accept our bond. How many times I hear this, it never gets any better. You call this freaky shit a bond? Get the hell out of here! Teddy? Risei chan, if you would be so kind, the bear of the hour needs your finest song. Leave it to Teddy! What's up, Ted? Itching to get on the floor after seeing me dance? I'm gonna show you who's the man! Teddy is in the house, yo! Let's go get it.
brilliant! Did you see that? Have you fallen for my seductive wiles? Good one, Teddy. You're really shining today. They felt that Teddy's debut performance was a smash hit. You guys are amazing. Oh, what is this? I'm getting goosebumps all over. Oh, <laughs> it seems you've lost four fans somehow. Are you okay with that? They're all going away. Hey, what are you saying? I'm still head over heels with Momo chan. My heart is right with her! Are you sure about that? Mr. Momo, are you that confident in your true self? You think everyone will still love you? Apart from being cute, you have no redeeming features. You're just a doll who can't do anything on your own. Without that cuteness, you'd have nothing left. Momo-chan's been taken! Oh no! Damn it! What the hell? Mind games. The instant she showed her weakness in her heart, she fell for that voice's trap. Come on! We gotta chase after some Momo! Let's move! Size dollhouse. This is quite an unsettling picture. Hey, look! That's. No! Uh, I got a lot of things that I want to do. That I want to be! But you can't, Sumomo. Don't tell me you forgot. Remember what you were told when you left the countryside? You mustn't be selfish. S selfish <laughs> That's right. You shouldn't cause people trouble. You need to meet people's expectations. You were always told that, right? You know you're an unsophisticated hillbilly. You have nothing outstanding. No looks, no personality. But you want to make everyone back home happy. You said so yourself, Sumomo. How disappointed would they be if they found out you ignored your fans and ended up abandoned by them? How do you know that? About me? About my folks? Momo-san! Momo-chan! Now, Sumomo, I'll let you hear everyone's voices. 
Sumamine is so cute. She's perfect as the group's little kid. She's so adorable. I don't even care that it's an act. What's this voice? Where is it coming from? I don't know. But is he talking about Momo-chan? She just needs to be cute, and that's all. Heck, I'd be weirded out if she tried something different. Sumo-mean doesn't have to do anything. I'm kind of a fan of how she's this helpless little kid, you know? She's been acting like she's thinking about her future lately, but all I can see her as is a sweet little girl. <laughs> see, Sumo-mo, all you have to do is be what everyone wants you to be. The real you is nothing but a burden. Carrying it around will only bring you pain and suffering. Ah, uh, see, I, uh, I just had to toss it away. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, you okay? Sumomo! We're here to save you! No. It's alright. I ought to make folks happy. Momo-san! Her identity is being dominated by their wants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so nice! I can feel your love for me, everyone! I just had to get rid of my feelings. That's all there was to it! Now, I can connect with everybody! I'm nobody if I'm not loved. I have to meet everybody's expectations, or else I'm totally worthless! No! You're wrong, Sumomo! You'll ignore your feelings and just do what you're told? You think your real fans are gonna appreciate that? Don't run from it! Don't give up! We're idols! We need to stand our ground. <laughs> I'm right with you on that one. Kanji! Hey, Tiny! Uh, Sumomo, right? Why don't you take a cue from your senior here? I know it's hard to live up to people's expectations, and I know it gets tough. But listen, damn it! It ain't right to be pretending to be something you ain't. You gotta find a way forward, even if you're scared. Kanji's right. If you throw away your real feelings, then sooner or later you won't be able to tell who you are. That would be just... Too sad! Yes. And that's exactly why we cannot accept this. Rise-san, I ask that you prepare my song. Uh, are you sure, Nato-kun? Huh? You're gonna dance? I may not be as skilled as you all when it comes to dancing. In fact, one might say I have... trouble expressing myself in general. That doesn't mean I don't have a self to express. Please leave this to me. Okay, you've been practicing so hard. I know you can do it. I'm ready when you are, so just say when. Well, guess I'll let you take this one. Get him, Naoto! Now, John! All right, break a leg! momo -san. I'll show you what it's like to have your true self understood. Let the music play. Let's get it started now.
Nation All I need is admiration Big frustration, bro He goes like fish, so we gave a shot But didn't work, honey Cause we had a whole lot going on and on and on Complex art. I'll strive for further heights. That's the slickest dancing I've ever seen now, John. Did I get through? Don't be stupid. You're safe now. Just give it another shot. Or however many it takes. That's right! I'm sure everyone back home is cheering for you, working hard! Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Guess I haven't grown a single bit. See, my hometown's out in the boonies. Only one bus every three hours, and my school only had eight students. So when I passed the audition, well, the whole dang town came out and congratulated me. They all really believed in me, and told me that I ought to listen to the people here. I wanted to make them happy, so I told myself I'm gonna do anything if that'll sell the group. But that ain't all it is, huh? I mean, it's important to sell and haul, but if I wanted people to really like me, I'd have to work on my own dang charm and share that with everyone, yeah? <laughs> You're dang, uh, damn right. 
Well, it ain't a bad thing to want to make folks proud, but if you gotta throw yourself away to do it, then hell. Might as well have someone else do it. That just sucks. So what do you do? Simple. Just live up to their expectations in your own way. All right, my mind's made up. First thing when I get back, I'm gonna go talk to the agency. Maybe I ain't that cute. And maybe I'm a runt, but I'll sure find something I'm better at than anybody. Then, when I'm ready, I'll start showing folks who I really am. So they'll eventually lack the entire me. I think that's great. But, um, the agency might have a tough time figuring out how to promote you. What? <gasps> Rizzy Senpai, ain't you gonna help me out? Oh, you gotta do something like come on a show with me together, please? Ah, uh, Zamomo, you got your snot on my outfit. C come on, you're ditching a little too much cuteness. You're still an idol. A and why are you still calling me that when you don't have to be all cutesy anymore? What is this? It seems to be a door. I can't be certain where it leads to, though. Hold on, I'll check. Persona! Hmm, looks safe inside. I'm not sensing any shadows behind the door. Hey, wait a second. This is the door to our studio's dressing room. At Takara Productions? It does seem vaguely familiar. It's definitely it. I'm sure of it. I've been through this door more times than I can count. Well, how about we go in? Beat's just standing around talking about it. does seem safe here. I detect no signs of an ambush, either. It is a bit different, but yeah. This is our agency's dressing room. How in the world could it be here, though? Hmm? I don't hear that spooky song in here. The hell is this place? Feels like a totally different world than outside. I don't know. Is there a purpose to this, or is it mere coincidence? is this? Something's written here and it's downright creepy. It looks like some kind of note. What's this doing here? I know what I want my songs to express, but everything important will go unsung. It's my fault. She has done nothing wrong, but she takes all the blame for me. I can't stand it any longer. What is this? It feels like a diary entry of some sort. I don't know. Dude wants to say something, but can't? And everybody's bagging on some girl, but she's actually covering up for the dude. Guess he feels bad about it. Uh, what gifts? Kanji-kun is using deduction. Huh? It's amazing how humans grow. I never thought I'd see the day Kanji would use his brain. I can barely contain myself. I'm so happy for you, Kanji. What the hell do you mean by that? Ugh, what a racket. Even in a place like this, you're squabbling and fighting like children in a playground? <sighs> Honestly, can't you be more civilized? Ah! Miss Ochimizu! Huh? 
Wait, really? Huh? But didn't you get snatched up by that ribbon stuff? That's correct. It was, well, surreal to say the least. But when I came to, I was lying on the ground. So I walked here as I assessed the situation. I'm sorry, but you walked here? Did you not come across any sh- <clears throat> Anybody suspicious along the way? Yes, I did, but they didn't do anything. They just vanished into thin air the moment they saw me. I was surprised at first, but if that's how they are, then there's not much point in dwelling on it, is there? What? How they are? Th that's it? Ahem. Um, excuse me, but despite the odd situation, you don't seem terribly surprised. Why is that? It's a waste of time and energy. Standing around in shock won't accomplish anything, will it? That is true, but... I'm not as inflexible as you'd think. Taking everything into account, it's fairly obvious that something supernatural is going on here. But as of now, I doubt that my actions will bring about any positive change. So why even panic? You, on the other hand, look to have far more experience in this field than I do. You instantly reacted to the situation when Konami was about to be dragged in. I'm assuming you've come here to save Sumomo and the others? Well, uh, yeah. Then you have my gratitude. Thank you. At the very least, Sumomo is safe thanks to you. So Chimizu, uh, please stop that. I mean, we only... You only what? Only did what was natural? Then it's only natural for me to thank you as well. What's wrong with you? Can't tell if you're really grateful or not. You have an opinion on the matter? No, damn it! Ugh. You're a major pain in the ass, you know that? Just... Get on with the conversation already! So, Miss Ochimizu, why are you here? You seem like a rational person. I think you came to us for a reason. As a matter of fact, yes. I'll get right to the point. If you're going ahead, leave Sumomo here. You clearly aren't phased by incidents like these. But it's not anything Sumomo and I are used to. If we were to stick together, you would have to constantly worry about Sumomo. I need you to save all four of the girls. Any potential unnecessary issues should be avoided to ensure success. Moreover, Samomo doesn't appear to have the energy to go with you. Spell. She's in no condition to travel. Whether she goes with us or not, Sumomo-san needs some rest. Yeah, you're right. I don't sense any shadows around here, so it's probably safer to stay in this room than go anywhere. And I gotta admit, if we all move on, I don't think we can handle the shadows while protecting Sumomo. But, 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 but is it really okay to leave Momo-chan here all by herself? He's right. Sumomo-san would feel anxious if she were left here alone. Alone? No, I'll stay with her. Did you forget? The mob outside won't attack me. And even in case they do, two of us will have a higher chance of survival than just her alone. Don't do anything risky. You should be safe as long as you stay quiet in this room. Understood. Did you hear her, Simomo? Yes, ma'am. Go whenever you're ready. I wish you luck. All right, guys. Let me contact Senpai before we leave. I want to see how they're doing. It'll only take a moment, so everybody take a breather, okay?
Hey, I still don't have a handle on her, but... You think that Ochimizu lady ain't as bad as we thought? Kanji-kun, she's still in earshot. How is your LMB practice coming along? Have you memorized your dance routines? Oh, yes! Can you execute them flawlessly? Oh, uh, no. N not yet. I see. Uh, um, ma'am? You mind taking a look at my, uh, solo? Sure. Go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Wrong, wrong, wrong. No, the feeling's not right at all. Listen, there's an emotion to those steps. Imagine this. You approach a man whose life you just saved only for him to shoot you in the stomach. Blood gushes from the wound. You fall to your knees, clench your fists, and roar in shock and disbelief. What the hell is this? B blood from the gut? Uh, how, how am I supposed to put that in my dance? changed again. It's all fancy now, like a princess's castle. <laughs> it brings back fond memories of Yuki-chan. Oh, my heart's pounding out of my fur. Teddy, less blabbing and more moving. We've got a long way to go, and we want to get to the rendezvous point before Senpai's team. There's something that I've been wondering about. Huh? What's up? Well, you know how shadows already existed in my world, right? So seeing them around in there is nothing special. But this place isn't connected to my world. So how come there's tons of shadows here? Oh, that's cause, uh... I don't know. Hal, you're the one who's supposed to know about the shadow stuff. Actually, Teddy has a valid point. We've encountered quite a number of shadows so far. It'd be understandable if this was the TV world, because we know that to be the Shadow's natural habitat. But in this world's case, if our current theory is that all the Shadows thus far existed here to begin with, it seems... doubtful at best. Hey, how's this? Maybe they just pop out of nowhere. That is highly unlikely. More to the point, there were no signs of shadows reappearing in the path we took from the entrance. Otherwise, we wouldn't have left Somomo-san and Miss Ochimizu back in the dressing room. Well, yeah, but... That's for sure. I can't sense any shadows from the path we came. Also, we stayed in that room back there for a while, but I didn't feel any shadows show up or reappear nearby. So I don't think they'll keep coming out endlessly. I don't smell any shadows behind us either. Huh? Wait, Risei-chan. You can sniff out shadows without using a persona? No, I can't tell their smell. I sort of feel their presence somehow. Nothing specific like their exact locations. Not only that, I can communicate without using my persona, up to a certain distance. It's weird. Come to think of it, when we were dancing you provided our musical accompaniment, yet your persona wasn't even summoned.
In this world, we can convey our emotions to others through dancing and music. And so can shadows, right? Maybe the nature of this place makes it easier for our thoughts and feelings to reach others. I see. That makes a great degree of sense considering the culprit's objective. You can do all that? Damn. Gonna be more and more like Teddy. What? Excuse me? Are you saying I'm round and fat? What? What's with all the Teddy hate? I'm a handsome boy behind the fur, you know. <laughs> you really do put on a good show. I told you right. It's still pointless. There you are. Everyone, stay on guard. Do you hate me that much? You're so friendly with each other. Why do you refuse to plug bombs with us? Yeah, whatever. What you have isn't a bond, it's just brainwashing. Being tied down like that, forced to throw away your real self? I feel sorry for these shadows. Oh, that's not true. They're all here because they wanted a special bond with me. They did? <laughs> that's right. Can't you hear them? They want to connect with you, too. Looks like we got no choice. I ain't gonna let you mess with my head. Wanting a bond. Hey, Nato, eyes up. What are you spacing out for? Think later. Oh, uh, yes. Why don't you understand? If you connect with us, you won't suffer or feel pain. Don't strain yourself so much. Now, let's become one. Again? All right, you're on. This is all part of button heads to understand each other. Kanji. Reset. Music. We ain't gonna run. Watch my moves and think twice, punks. Here goes. Lay down the beat. Let's get it started now.
just goodbye It gone bad, we were a ride Take your loss, the thing is right It's like they got it. Ain't ever a good thing to give up who you are. accept each other, even if you gotta go head-to-head -head sometimes. Kanji's right. Try all you want. We're gonna free every last one of the shadows you're controlling. <laughs> every last one? I don't think so. I have plenty of replacements ready and waiting. Poor things. Because you poisoned them, they lost the precious bond that they so longed for. But that's fine with me. If they don't want my bond, then they can do whatever they please. The hell are you talking about? <laughs> exactly as I said. There are plenty of others who crave bonds. Can't you feel it? More and more are coming into this world, seeking that special connection. <laughs> Does that mean the Shadow's numbers are increasing? But where are they coming from? Sorry, time's up. No more chatting. Nusomi's performance is about to begin. <laughs> hey, wait, you punk! Huh? It got away again! What the hell's that voice's problem? Saying all that shit and then leaving every single time. It said Nozomi's performance was about to start. This isn't good. We need to hurry. Yes, the questions can come later. Let's move ahead. Someone's over there. Cutie readings are off the charts! That's Nozo-chan! Hey, Nozo-chan! Huh? Oh, Rise-san, uh, uh, are you real? Nozomi, are you okay? Are you hurt anywhere? Uh, oh, oh, I'm fine. But where am I? <laughs> I can't believe this! Nozo-chan, the Prince Charming of Kanamine Kitchen, right in front of me! Prince Charming? She's a chick, Ted. What, are you blind? Oh, 
poor innocent Kanji. You just don't get it, do you? Nozo-chan's big appeal is the forbidden charm of being a handsome boy when she's actually a girl! A, a girl pretending to be a boy? Why are you looking at me? No, Nozomi is different from Naoto-kun. It's pretty much a character the agency cooked up for her role in the group. She's really shy. I mean, she gets nervous just talking about herself. First Momo-chan, and now Nozo-chan too? I've suffered a critical hit to my hopes and dreams. The showbiz world really is a cruel place. Can a small town bear like me really reach mega stardom? You ain't in showbiz, Ted. Anyhow, we're glad that you're safe. Let's move to a safe location. And just so we're clear, I'm hardly any good at talking about myself either. Ugh, that was uncalled for, wasn't it? My apologies. Kun, cover Nozomi-san! Got it! <laughs> Whatever you're thinking of doing, it's no use. Our bond is stronger than anything. Listen, Nozomi. You want a bond too, don't you? A bond with people who really understand you. A, a bond? B but... Shut the hell up! Let her think for herself, damn it! Stop trying to decide things for her! Stay out of her business! Oh, it's for her own good. Huh? Nozomi doesn't need to think. All she has to do is accept us. It's pointless to worry and suffer. After all, there was never a need for anyone other than the Nozomi everyone wants. What kind of crazy talk is that? How ludicrous. It claims to be doing this for Nozomi-san's sake, when in fact it's ignoring her will and forcing its own thoughts onto her. You could never build a relationship in that way. You just don't get it, do you? But I know I'm right. Look! This crowd is here just for Nozomi. How can she not be happy? even more than last time! This doesn't make any sense. Where did it get all these shadows from? Didn't I tell you? There are plenty of others who crave bonds. You really should accept us too, you know? Being yourself will only disappoint people. Gives me the creeps. I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. This is one song I refuse to dance to. Nachan's right. I'd rather be dancing freestyle to the funky groove, sharing the excitement with everyone. Oh, yeah! You go, Teddy. Yeah, so what if people want you to be a certain way? That doesn't make it right for them to stomp out your true feelings. They might not understand at first, but don't let that stop you from expressing yourself. Correct on all counts. Please stand back. I shall handle this. Now Chan's all revved up. Hey, what about my turn? Okay, Nato-kun. You're all queued up, so let him have it. If you're afraid of being hurt, you can never reach out to anyone. No one will understand you. <laughs> How true it is. I could 
could have used that lesson myself not long ago. Now, let the music play. Let's get it started now. Brilliant! Dancing is quite a complex art. I'll strive for further heights. Way to show some passion for once. Nice dance, Nato. I did it. I've still got a ways to go, but I managed to make them understand. Wow. She's cool. Now, you 
must have let their poison take hold, Misery. That's it! I'm fed up with all your crap! What's your problem, anyway? If you've got something to say, then come out and say it to my face! <laughs> Why, though? What good would that do? You and I are getting along because we're not hurting each other, right? Why not keep this comfortable distance? What? You call all that getting along? You were anything but nice! Oh? But I want you to be happy, though, as a friend. No one gets hurt. Everyone is happy. That's what this world is about. And we've been saying no! It ain't! How the hell do you think we'd accept you without even seeing your face? If you really want to be friends with us, then get out of here right now! <laughs> my, my! What am I to do? Nozomi, do you think you can stand face to face and talk with them? Huh? No, no way! Nozomi! What are you saying? Right? It's okay. If you push yourself, you'll just end up getting hurt. Nozomi-san, please calm down. Don't fall for its trap. Uh, but... but... <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you didn't bully Nozomi. She has a big performance coming up. won't let you have her! You caught us by surprise last time, but now we're ready! What a wasted effort. So, Nozomi... Damn it! Hey, you! Don't listen to a damn word it says! Huh? Wh why These people want you to show them the real you. <laughs> what a horrible thing to ask. Don't you agree? If you do as they say, you'll have to go through a lot of pain and suffering. Are you up for that? No, I'm... That, that's too much. I can't... Damn it! Kajikun! No protect Nozo! Nozomi! Nozo chan! I couldn't protect Nozo-chan! This is exactly what we wanted to prevent! It seems those ribbons are impervious to any use of force. Come on, guys! We've got no time to mope around! We'll go after Nozomi as soon as we're ready! We never give up, right? <laughs> right! Well, you gotta do what you gotta do! <laughs> You're turning out to be a rather strict leader. Much more so than you, Senpai. I'm with you, of course. Don't forget Teddy! I learned from you guys what it means to have an enduring soul. Nothing can beat me! Alright! We're saving Nozomi! We can do it! Tell you Agreed. Go. What's this? A stage? It's like a musical. Hey, look! Over there! That's Nozomi, right? N no that's not how I... Uh, I'm surprised you're putting up a fight, but I'm afraid you don't have a choice. Or, are you willing to show everyone how you really are? That's... that's why I... I've been trying to talk to people, and... 
Is that right? But doing so hurts you. Who's the one crying all the time because things never go the way you want? Who... Who are you? How do you know... You've always been like that, huh? Afraid of people's gazes, afraid of people's words, afraid of people. Why hurt yourself? It's not necessary, Nozomi. If you just play your part, everyone will adore you. There's no need for the real you. Nobody wants her. Nozo-chan! Nozomi! Raise this on! <laughs> Come on, Nozomi. You get nothing out of trying to be yourself. Just pain. You can be great without any of that. Think about it. It's so easy for you to interact with people when you're in that Nozomi. Am I wrong? Here, listen to everyone. Nozomi has an unusual appeal. She's a cute girl with the attitude and dependability of a cool guy. Yeah, These voices again! Are these Nozomi-san's fans? You know, the best part about the whole Prince Charming thing is that she isn't self-conscious at all. It takes a lot of guts to be that self-assured. Even if people laugh at her, she's strong enough to ignore it. I'm not strong at all. I... I can't do it. See? It's the confident, uninhibited Prince Nozomi that everybody wants. As long as you cling to the real you, life will be filled with pain, sadness, and fear. No. No, I, I don't want that. <laughs> Hey, you! Don't give up, damn it! Nozomi, no! I'm scared. It hurts. I. I. Yeah! Th this is the same as Momo chan! How could we let this happen again? should have always been. There's no point in life if nobody cares about you, is there? Of course it's better for everyone to accept and desire you. Oh, this is the greatest feeling. Now, I invite you to join us and connect with this bond as well. isn't easy. It hurts, it's scary, but you can't throw yourself away. We idols aren't just dolls. It's our job to work hard so people will accept us. Listen to Risei, you idiot! Greatest feeling. You know damn well you're lying to yourself. Yeah! After I met Sensei, I got unsure about who I was, so I had to think and think real hard. And now I'm the adorable bear I am today. It hurt a lot, and I felt miserable, but because of all that, I know just how important my actual self is! So don't say things like there's no point in your life! I can't bear to hear that! Watch me, Nozomi. I'm gonna prove it to you right now. We don't have to lose our identity to be idols!
What? Risei-chan's taking the stage? But I gave a big emotional speech and everything! <laughs> Give it up, Ted. Better let the pro handle this. The time is ripe for our star performer. I leave this to you, Risei-san. All right. I know I can do this. I've done everything I could to prepare for my comeback. There's no screwing up now. Here we go! A special sneak preview of Reset's biggest show ever! Okay, here we go. expect any less of you, Risei-san. Did that do it? Nozomi! 
Kazumi-san! Uh, I ran away. Again. Why am I always like this? Nozo-chan, it's okay! You got what we were trying to tell you! That's all that matters! feeling down. I'm so glad you're safe. What more can I ask for? Really? I'm horrible at talking to people. I'm always like this when I'm out of character. That's how you are. And I think it's perfectly fine. You should be proud of it and tell everyone. Okay. I'll try. I I'll, I'll do my best. Yeah, even bugs are louder than her. You sure she's gonna be okay? What? You're mean. Scary. What was that? Kanji, why are you like that? Be nice to Nozomi. That's right, Kanji-kun. Can't you see she's trying to change? What? Wait, why am I being? No excuses. Nozomi's trying her best, so work with her. Ugh, fine, whatever. Just shut up. So, uh, well, c keep at it, all right? I'm rooting for you. Do my best. Thank you. Well, stop looking at me like that. So you're happy. I get it. That's enough, damn it. Scary again. No, no, no. Nozo chan, let me give you a lecture on how a guy's heart works. Kanji is just embarrassed, that's all. It's hard to see past his crude demeanor, but he really does accept you. So there's absolutely no reason to be scared of him. That's right. Kanji's pretty bad at expressing his feelings, too. He's such a handful. What? Just sh shut up, you two! Then... you like me? What? Uh... huh? Y you're embarrassed, right? So... I wondered if I was your type and I... Uh, that was beyond jumping to conclusions. I'm not sure how to process this. Hmm. She really is something else when it comes to talking. That was a classic communication breakdown. Hey, stop gawking and help me out. And you? The hell was that scary at the end? Doesn't make sense. Ah, oh, Nozomi. You've been poisoned as well. You're still here? I won't forgive you for putting Nozo-chan through all this! <laughs> There's no need to get so worked up. If you're not interested in a bond with us, that's fine. Do whatever you like. Ugh! That punk just up and left again! Whoa! It's like earlier with Sumomo. Does this connect to a dressing room too? I say we should enter. I see no signs of shadows in the vicinity. As long as we stay on our guard, we should be all right. Okay, I'm sure now. This place has no trace of shadows, just like before. I don't hear that creepy song, either. I wonder why these rooms are so special. Huh. 
So far this door's been showing up every time we save a girl. Could they have been deliberately hidden from us until then? Or was there some other reason we were unable to detect them? Another possibility is that Sumomo-san and Nozomi-san's release caused the doors to come into existence somehow. Uh, you mind putting all that in simpler words? I mean, what do you mean, some other and somehow? If I knew, then I wouldn't be having trouble working out the details. I can't say for sure at this point. What is this? Yet another similarity with Somomo-san's case. I want a bond. I want to connect their hearts with mine. But it's too late. There's nothing I can do now. I changed the lyrics to hide everything. I'm nothing but a liar. I should end it all. God, just listening to it is putting my stomach in knots. The writer's even more stressed than the last time. Kanji-kun, have you noticed? Huh? The person who wrote these notes... Well... We've yet to confirm that this individual is human. Nachan, What did you find? In simple, bear-friendly terms, por favor! Content of this particular note. Bond. Connect. Do these sound familiar to you? Wait, you don't mean... that stuff that voice has been saying. Indeed. The content of this note matches up quite neatly to that voice's words. Are you telling me that's who wrote these notes? I have no definitive proof, but it certainly seems to be a possibility. And... Ah! Wow! Ochi? Ochi? No, never mind. I'm glad to see you've rescued Nozomi as well. Which means that all four idols are now safe. I'm very grateful. Senpai and the others finished up a long time ago, huh? <laughs> Guess we still ain't on their level. Excuse me, Miss Ochimizu. Are you saying that you went to check on Senpai's group before you came here? Yes, that's correct. That's correct my ass! We told you to stay in that room and you said understood! More importantly, Ochi, is Momo-chan okay all by herself? Sumomo is fine. Nothing happened in that room after you left, so I'm sure it's safe. She looked much better. I was more worried that you might be in a bind again. So, were you arguing whether to leave Nozomi here and move on or stay with her? I see. You make a valid point. Frankly, it would be great if someone watched over Nozomi-san. That'd allow us to move on without worries. Then that's that. Everything clear, Nozomi. Oh, uh, yes ma'am. Well? If you're done, why are you wasting your time here standing around? I don't know what's going on, but the sooner this idiocy ends, the better. I agree. It's not like we got involved in this because we wanted to anyway. Please stay here with Nozomi. We'll go put an end to this. Fine. I'm counting on you, Rise Kujikawa. Ugh. What's with her attitude? She really gets on my nerves. Oh, there's nothing for it. This is hardly an ideal situation for her either. We're having her do what she can to help. Please try to calm down, Rise-san. Um, is Ochi always like that? I mean, not just her acting frosty, but she's in a strange world, and she doesn't think twice about wandering around. She's too fearless. Fearless? More like reckless. She just looks down on everyone and says whatever she wants. If we hadn't come, she would have been in danger too for crying out loud. Yeah, I don't know about that. I thought the shadows didn't attack her, yeah? Now that you mention it, we were thrown off by her boldness, but... If you think about it, that is quite strange. There must be some reason that the shadows don't attack her. Why 
should I care? If she doesn't get attacked, then good for her. Once we meet up with Senpai, let's hurry and get out of this stupid place. <sighs> Can you guys go ahead and prepare to leave while I talk to Senpai? I'll be right back. This isn't good. She's completely lost her cool. I believe it'd be best if we supported her. I kind of see where she's coming from, though. Well, guess we'll back her up a bit. Times like this are when friends come in handy. You can lean on me, Rise-chan. Still dealing with that social anxiety? Huh? Uh, oh. Uh, yes. Yes, ma'am. I... I... Uh, I'm working on it. I see. Can you perform at the festival? I... I... I'll... I can. I'll do it. I see. Um... If... If you don't mind, please check my... my LMB dance. Sure. Go on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... No, eight, that isn't it. You're not getting it at all, Nozomi. You need to pour emotion into that final pose. Yes. Like that of a man, risking his life to prove his love. He leaps into a busy street as the woman, seized by the memories of her dead fiancé, watches in terror. A truck screeches, stopping inches away from him. He slowly turns to the woman and cries out, I will not die! I don't understand that at all. Could you explain? I I'm sorry. Stupid Miss Ochimizu. Rise-san, please calm down. If a leader loses control in front of their team, it could lower everyone's morale. Uh-huh, that's right. And don't forget, I'm always on your side. Whenever it gets tough, you can jump into my arms and cry as much as you need to. My fur is yours. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, guys. I'll get back on track. Well, now that we've saved Sumomo and Nozomi, let's go and meet up with Senpai and the others. They said they didn't encounter any major problems either. That's very good news. Shall we head for the rendezvous point then? Kanji-kun, what's wrong? Is there a problem? Nah, just thinking about something. You know how that rumor talks about the other side? That's here, yeah? Do you mean the Love Meets Bonds festival rumor? Let me see. When you look at the website at midnight, an unfamiliar video plays. And in that video, you can see a dead idol dancing. And anyone who watches that video is taken to the other side, never to awaken again. I believe that about sums it up. Now, back to your question. From what we've experienced, yes. We believe that we're on the other side. Why? Well, we haven't run into much here. Just the idols we saved, that damn voice, and those weird-ass ribbon shadows. But the chumps who watch the video are taken here, right? Then, where the hell are they? Shouldn't we be saving them too? You've got it wrong, Kanji. Those people are still in our world, never to awaken again. From what I've gathered, the victims are left in a comatose state. I came across no reports of missing persons. There was an eyewitness account of a victim being pulled by something, but he was in a coma. Just like... No, wait. You're right. It is strange. Now, Chan? What's wrong?
Risei-san, do you remember the first time we came here? Huh? Um, yeah. That video and the rumor actually popped up. Then those ribbons ensnared us, pulling us into this world. Unlike the other victims, we didn't fall into a coma. Yeah, that's true. The next victims were the idols of Kanamine Kitchen. They apparently went missing, and we eventually found them all here. None of them fell into a coma, and neither did we. Just like our first time. That's why I missed it. Missed what? Are any of you familiar with the condition known as apathy syndrome? It appeared a few years ago around Tatsumi Port Island. Victims lost their sense of self, unable to even speak. I was researching it recently for the sake of another case. It seems the symptoms of apathy syndrome were, in actuality, the side effects of shadows leaving the human body. Shadows leaving? Yes. As we're all aware from personal experience, shadows in our hearts are closely linked. We came to face and accept our shadows, thus attaining the power of persona. But what about an average person? What would happen if their shadow was forcibly removed from them? Are you saying that's what's causing the comas? I'm almost positive that is the case. I was mistaken. I assumed there would be some degree of discrepancy between the rumor and the facts. But in truth, the rumor was accurate. We were the outliers, the special cases. Most likely, our control over our shadows was what kept us from falling victim. Wait, then what about those kitchen girls? They were acting normal in here like us. Are you saying they use personas? They would also be considered special cases. Recall what that voice said. Both Sumomo-san and Nozomi-san were shocked when that voice brought up their most private information. It would be natural to think that the voice knew them from the start and pulled them in here deliberately. In addition, when Risei-san, Senpai, and I were pulled in here, it was around midnight. But for them, it must have happened earlier, between our initial meeting and the time they were reported missing, meaning their case does not meet the rumor's condition of being pulled in at midnight. But, but how come they're so special? That would be because they are the main guests of this Midnight Stage. Main guests? That voice called this place the Midnight Stage, did it not? Naturally. A stage exists for the sake of the performer using it, and the audience watching it. The four members of Konamine Kitchen were summoned here for a purpose. To fill the role of performers for these stages. Risei-san, I suspect the same was true for you. What? Me? I said we were pulled in around midnight. But that, and watching the video at that time, were merely coincidence. The fact that stages were readied for both you and the idols of Konamine Kitchen is proof itself. Uh, hold on a sec! So does that mean this world was made just for Risei-chan and Konamine Kitchen? And if they're the performers, are the shadows the audience? Where did those guys come from, though? Exactly. Do you recall how that voice talked about shadows coming to this world looking for bonds? And I'm sure we all wondered why we seem to be able to communicate our feelings to these shadows. There is but one explanation to it all. Suppose that, like the times we each faced our own shadows, these shadows too are entities which share a close connection with the human heart. Uh, hey, you trying to say that they're... They're the shadows of people who saw the video on the LMB site and fell into a coma? So that's what it means to get taken? Yes. However, judging from the fact that some saw the video yet remained conscious, we can conclude there is some method to the selection of those that were taken here. Hmm. Now I see why those shadows felt different from the ones I know. This is not good. As long as there are people who try that rumor out, this world will keep being flooded with their shadows. That means... Ah! What is this? An earthquake? What's going on? Whoa! Everything's all shaky! Let's hurry. Something might have happened. We need to join Senpai and the others fast. 